In this video, we're going to go from this to this using this. Okay, so I've already previously added an oil pressure gauge and 12 volt power supply so I can use a portable air pump to pump up the tires when needed. And next thing I really wanted was a tack and also something that show hours of service. There'll be a link to this down in the, uh, in the description. One thing I see real quick that I don't like about it is it's a countdown service. So, say the service time is 10 hours, punch in 10, and then it goes down to zero, and then alerts you. I'd rather have total, but this is what I got, so this is what I got. So the first thing I need to do is, well, find out, figure out where I'm going to put it. I've already done that. It's going to go right here. And next, you need to program it accordingly. This is a one-cylinder engine. If you watched my video on replacing the engine, you would already know that. Alright, so to set it up, go in there and set the firing patterns. In my case, will be a four stroke one cylinder. So that would be 1P, 2R, one spark, two revolutions. So, first thing I'm going to do is go in and set that up. Ah, it's already there. Let me go and show you how to do that anyway, though. Come on, or not. Press and hold it. There, press and hold it when it starts flashing, then you can toggle through uh, each one of the settings. And this is 2P1R, so I'll leave it there and just wait a couple seconds. And it'll program that in. There we go. Now I'm gonna set the hours, so kind of the same thing. 1P2R, press and hold that until it starts flashing. And then you can toggle it back and forth with these. Um, so you can toggle through hours, minutes, etc. I'm going to leave mine at 20. I need to look that up. What is the oil filter change interval on a Briggs & Stratton 23 horsepower motor? Or engine, if you're one of those people. Whatever. So anyway, um, next thing I'll need to do is just mount it. And it comes with some double-sided tape. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to tape it on, and then later on, if I like where I put it, if it seems to work okay for me, then I'll uh, go ahead and drill some holes and mount it there. And you probably want to start out with something a lot cleaner than this. Oh, and on this one, blade engagement goes to right there. So I know mounting it say here will be just fine. One thing I noticed real quick is the wire is in the wrong right place. <laughs> I may need to drill a little hole for the feed the wire through there. For now again I'm just gonna do it kind of temporary and then at a later time we might go a little bit more permanent with it. Double sided tape on there. I cleaned that off with alcohol and uh, no, I did it with my finger. You saw me. Never mind. Put that on there like so. Now next, this gets wrapped around the spark plug wire, and in the directions, if I recall correctly, it said to put it uh, up by the coil on these type of engines. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and get the hood out of the way for your visibility. It hasn't been that long. Come on, there we go. All right, I'm going to take this cover off. I'm going to do it right.
really isn't helping any. All right, I'm just gonna put it right here and we'll see what happens. Let's see, run the spark device device where the gas goes. Over here. Alright, camera battery died somewhere in there. So I don't know. I think I think I just missed wrapping this up. Hopefully that's it. I'm gonna wrap that up. Get a few wraps around it. And see if the tape will hold it in place. I know it won't protect against spark or anything like that. It's not that high voltage. Just want it to hold it in place. That's ugly. <laughs> Alright, let's go test it and see if it, uh, you know, shows it roti rotating. Seems to work. A um, couple of notes. I noticed there's no place to uh, get a flat tire. Anyway, <laughs> um, there's no no way to replace the battery on here that I see. So I guess when it goes out, you toss it, or you see if you can dig into it without destroying it and replace the battery. Um, I wish it had the option of keeping total hours too, but I guess since it's kind of disposable. There's no need in that. So anyway, be sure to check out some of my other videos. One, I put this 12 volt outlet on here so I can easily air up tires without having to carry a uh, compressor around or you know, drive it on flats to get to a compressor or tank. And well, that thing's dirty. I also put a uh, oil gauge on here because my first engine uh, lost oil and therefore lost all pressure and locked up on me so I had to put another engine in so got another video of it unlocking the engine instant, instant engine installation I have one that I'll be putting out for replacing the drop belt on this one and what else oh yeah I put <laughs> I put LED headlights in instead of the halogens so anyway thank you for watching please uh, check out my other videos oh and uh, yeah, this stuff all, I'll go ahead and put all this back together off camera and tidy it up some. I think this location will work out just fine. So I may end up drilling a hole through here and running that wire through through here. But since this has no battery in it, or no replaceable battery I should say, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel if you didn't like it well subscribe to the channel maybe you like the next one thank you for watching